Hi friends, we are going to talk about uh, an interesting fax controller UPQC Unified Power Quality Conditioner. UPQC is a combination of DVR and active filter. It is used uh, to improve the voltage and it also supplies harmonics to the receiving end. Uh, this is single phase uh, UPQC. You have uh, on the left hand side what you have is uh, DVR. On the right hand side uh, you have uh, active filter. So this is like uh, Ardhanarishwari. One side you have Shiva, other side you have Parati. So Shiva is DVR uh, here and Parati is uh, active filter. So this is uh, three phase UPQC. On the left hand side you find uh, three phase DVR with three injection transformers. On the right hand side you have three phase active filter. So let us discuss DVR separately and uh, active filter separately. DVR stands for Dynamic Voltage Restorer. The functions it compensates sag, it can compensate swell and hence it improves the regulation. So working of DVR is similar to DC booster in DC line and DC booster is a small DC series generator connected in series with the line. So in uh, olden days we had DC line, so you had the drop in DC resistance and you have the voltage injected by the booster, they both will get cancelled. A similar principle is applied in DVR, you have IZ drop and you have the injected voltage. The IZ drop and injected voltage will be in opposite direction. So you have some storage unit, it can be battery or PV. The DC output of the storage unit is converted into AC and you inject about 10 to 20% of the voltage. Assuming drop to be 20%, then this 20% of the drop has to be compensated by this. So whatever voltage I get from the storage unit, I will step it up to that 10% of the voltage drop. This is hardware diagram. The pulses for the inverter are given by the microcontroller and the pulses are amplified using driver circuit. So this is circuit model of a two bus system. You have a generator which is shown as RLE. Line impedance is shown as series combination of R1 and X1. Load 1 and load 2. This is two bus system with additional load and uh, no DVR. So you can see here when you connect the second load, the drop will increase and receiving end voltage will decrease. So this is what you call it as a SAG. At home, uh, uh, if you are uh, having a tube light on and you turn on uh, your heater, then voltage decreases. Then with DVR, I am injecting the voltage. DVR is an inverter with LC filter and I am injecting the voltage. That voltage compensates the IZ drop. So you can see injected voltage in the first waveform voltage across load 1 then voltage across load 2. So what you observe in the second waveform the voltage decreases then uh, your DVR will inject voltage after some time the voltage comes back to the normal value. So the sag is compensated using DVR. So this is similar to a sick person getting admitted to the hospital. Glucose drip is given for 4 hours and he becomes normal after the glucose is injected. So additional load is connected, voltage decreases, then, old, then DVR injects voltage and it comes back to the original value. So this is image of DVR. On the left hand side you can see the injection transformer. On the right hand side you see the inverter devices. Let us discuss the second part of uh, UPQC. The second part of UPQC is shunt active filter. So normal load, linear load like pure resistive load, your voltage is sine wave, your current is also sine wave. But in real life you have some non-linear loads. Linear y equal to mx is linear, y equal to mx plus c is non-linear or y equal to x square is non-linear. So non-linear load will draw distorted the current. So if father is supplying textbooks and the latest movie to son, he gets headache. If generator is supplying fundamental current and harmonics, the heat will be more. It is better if father gives textbooks to the son and elder brother gives the movie to the younger brother. Then 
the atmosphere at home will be very peaceful so similarly in a power system let generator supply the useful current and let the shunt act filter supply the harmonics required by the nonlinear load so your shunt act filter supplies harmonics to the nonlinear loads like rectifier fed uh, motor or induction motor or smbs these are some of the nonlinear loads which require uh, harmonics so this is shunt act filter this if if nonlinear load requires fifth harmonic the frequency is 5 into 50 250 hertz so i will trigger this inverter at 250 hertz so this supplies the 250 hertz component required by the nonlinear load and generator supplies the 50 hertz component so this is image of uh, shunt act filter to get that required value of capacitance number of capacitors are connected in parallel and you have the inductor so the combination of inductor capacitor and the active devices form shunt act filter so please note that shunt act filter supplies harmonics passive filter draws harmonics active filter supplies harmonics so this is three phase active filter please share and like my video please subscribe my channel ramreddy sathi thank you